if you're a cotton grower or consultant, sooner or later you're going to have to deal with a tiny pest that's affecting this cotton here. That's two spotted spider mite. Spider mites have a very fast life cycle and, um, and can build up in crops very quickly. Each mite is tiny, but because the population builds so quickly, tiny amounts of damage from individual mites can gradually add up to a lot of damage in the crop. Most cotton crops have mites in them right from seedling emergence. The rate that mite populations build up and when they build up really depends on how the crop is managed. If the crop is sprayed with more broad spectrum insecticides, the beneficials are reduced and the mites can exploit that rapid population increase and, and build up very quickly with quite a big potential to reduce yield. Yield loss from mites is a product of when the mites start in the crop cycle and how quickly they increase. If they start early and increase quickly, the yield loss potential is high. If they start late and increase slowly, yield loss potential is low. This leaf shows typical mite damage. You can see the mites tend to start at the base of the petiole here, where the leaf blade joins the petiole. And also, they particularly prefer these folds in the leaf because of the fact that they're nice and protected for a soft-bodied um, pest like spider mites, which are very susceptible to desiccation and drying out. If you turn the leaf over, those damaged areas there are reflected on the upper surface with this reddening. It starts, often starts here near the base of the petiole again, but also you can see where they're in that fold. You've got that typical red symptom. So as you're walking into a crop to check for mites or another pest, you can be looking for signs of this damage on the way through the crop. So there's a wide range of beneficials that are really important in controlling two-spotted spider mite. Probably one of the most well-known in the industry is actually thrips. So they are a pest of seedling cotton, but they also like to eat mite eggs. And particularly in crops this age, you'll look at the underside of the leaf, you'll see a mite colony and there'll be five or six thrips larvae feeding on the mites and it can really stop the mite population. But other predators are important too. Big-eyed bugs, brown smudge bugs, minute pirate bugs, minute two-spotted lady beetle, um, apple dimpling bugs, even green myriads will attack mites. They're a soft body insect that can't move very fast so a lot of things like to eat them. Thresholds for mites are available in the Cotton Pest Management Guide. This information is also captured in the COD Assist tools. There's a mite yield loss estimator where you can enter your mite sampling information and it will calculate the potential yield loss compared to the threshold.